Oh my god. Oh, this is going in the bag. With the release of the new drivers just around the corner for 2022, and all the hype that's been built up around the Stealth and the Rogue, I'm actually going to see how much you do gain because I'm so skeptical every year. Oh, thinner face, higher ball speed, it's got this way, it's got jailbreak. How much of it does actually work? I thought it'd be quite interesting to put to the test an old driver versus a new driver. So I've got with me today my first ever full length driver that I got when I was 10 years old. So that's 18 years old. And that is, it's gonna be my tailor-made R7. And that's gonna be going up against my new, but well, I say new, a couple of years old now, G400 LS Tech. So let's not waste any more time, let's get straight into it. I'm gonna hit five drives with each driver, take a look at the numbers and compare and see how much drivers really have changed over 18 years. Let's get into it. So, jumping straight into it, G400 first. I'll be expecting to see around 180 ball speed, 300 carry, rolling out to 315, 320-ish. I really caught a hold of that one. Oh, I need to make it up. Right, so starting off strong there. 182 ball speed with 325 yards of carry. That R7's got some work to do. <laughs> Second ball. So that was definitely a lower strike. So obviously what manufacturers claim today is that the new technology will give you better forgiveness on off center strikes, which that definitely was low heel and it's got 182 ball speed, so that's performed very well there. Ball number three. A nice shot, really. Yeah, another nice one. That's more exactly what I'd expect to see. 182 ball speed, 292 carry, pretty straight. It just span up a little bit that one, span at 3-2. On the fifth one, I'm gonna really go for one to see what sort of ball speed I can get. Might be a little bit wild. <laughs> Struck it well. Turned over a bit. 189 ball speed, 297 carry, but the face was short impact. Right, guys, onto my first love, the R7. Holds a special place in my heart, so I hope it performs well. But it's up against some fierce competition with the G400. I forgot to mention this is set to 10 and a half and it's fixed, so I can't lower the loft. So with a regular shaft and a 10 and a half degree head, this could spin quite a lot compared to the X Flex and 80 degree head. But let's get into it. First shot. See what we get. Well, I ripped it. Oh my god, 180 ball speed. That is crazy. This face must have been hit thousands and thousands of times and skied and everything. And it gets 180 ball speed straight away. That's unbelievable. Right, second ball. Nice strike. 179 ball speed. 296 carry. That is, that's blown me away. Oh, this is going in the bag. 179 ball speed. I can't believe that. I just thought this face was going to be so dead. Off shot. That's outrageous. What a club. <laughs> 179 ball speed again. Right, just like a G400, I'm gonna open the shoulders and give it a whack, see how it performs. We've got 189 ball speed with the with the G400, so and if this gets close to that, that's just unbelievable. Well, let's see, hopefully I middle it. Oh, no, I didn't catch it. I 
I didn't catch it. You know what, I know it's unfair, but I'm gonna give it another go, just because I did not catch that at all. I really wanna see what ball speed I can get with this. I'll delete that number from the test. Come on. I middled that, 184. Oh, not bad. Just spinning like crazy. That's just so surprising. So I'm just gonna get the numbers on the screen now, take a look at the averages and see how they performed against each other. So first up, we got the G400. We've averaged 182 ball speed, 304 carry for a total of 322. So they're pretty much the numbers I'm expecting to see when I'm hitting driver. What's interesting is if we compare these to the R7, they're not that different. I mean, 180 ball speed, 289 carry for a total of 305. Yes, we've lost 10 to 15 yards on the distance, but that is solely down to the spin. Look, I mean, it's spinning at 4,000. That's twice as much as you need. If I was able just to get an extra stiff shaft with a lower degree head, the numbers would almost be identical. And that's just blowing me away. And I hope you watching this now can save yourself a few quid and not feel like you need to go out and buy the latest crazy drivers with all the technology. It just proves that old equipment with the right shaft fit for you can still be competitive. Let's get back to the video. So guys, how crazy is that? Two mile an hour ball speed and 10 yards carry difference over nearly 20 years of design and innovation on trying to make the clubs faster. And I'm literally putting that carry just down to spin just because of the degree of the face and the regular shaft. Obviously it's nice to get the new technology and the new name, just like anything like designer clothes or Mercedes Benz. It's, it's all branded, it's all nice to have new things, but you can literally go on golf bidder now and pick up a five year old club it's going to perform just as well as any new club for a fraction of the price so i know which one i'll be doing and i know obviously it's a business these golf companies they've got to sell clubs i'm not going to blame them for it but there's definitely a few gimmicks and a few marketing techniques that you need to see through anyway guys an interesting video i hope you enjoyed watching leave a like comment subscribe all that good stuff i'll see you next time